is guys your boy blossom is hd and today we are back to check out some more american dad things getting destroyed edition let's do this once upon a time there was a little alien who went to the police academy had to blow up the kitchen franny it goes real well with this thing i'm imagining no Oh! Ah. You're overreacting! 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 Do you know what those two are? Reporters! What? Ooh, you what? have been emasculated by the superior earning power of your little house frau. <laughs> ah, oh, God! Stud! Stud! Hit the stud! Look, Dad, I know you never liked Jeff, but he's back in my life, and you're just gonna have to deal with him. Hey! I was never here. Bob, I'm all turned around. Can you tell me how to get back to the road? But play the card! All right, Barry, the jig is up. I'm what? so, so sorry. Here, let me help. <laughs> Don't be starting what you can't finish, bitch. <laughs> I wanted to have another child, but her uterus was polluted from all the syphilis. You bastard! Ah! 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 Oh my god! Oh my god! Ah! Oh my god! Oh, for God's sake. Ah! 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 Oh my god! Ah! I was about to say, why are his bullets not running out of bullets? Oh, shit. App TV is safe. Lavate las manos! Wow. No. No. What? what? Stand! Stand! Stop it! How'd we get here? Oh, please! Help! One sec. Hey, Sid, quick question. I'm in a burning house. A man is caught under a beam. What's my liability if I help him? Uh-huh, I thought so. Stan, we're gonna wait in the yard, see how this plays out. No! Oh, Betty's here! I love her! You don't even know her. Every time she visits, you're plastered. <gasps> I'm sure I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Tacos! Oh. What? Who's crying? Stan! What? what the hell are you doing? Those outlets form a triangle, and that's where I'm digging. I can't believe you... I, I, you couldn't even roll up the rug? A hidden chamber. I see beautiful things. Gold, silver, huge red socks fit for a giant. No, 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 those are Christmas decorations. I think this might be our basement. Yep, those are my ski boots. It's Brother. our basement, Francine. We Brother. got through Haley's puberty. Barely. I'm hideous. Honey, you can't even see it. It's pretty. Wow, Haley, your cheek's pregnant. Who's the father? Touching your face all day with your greasy hands? Wow! Ah! 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 Well, that sounds oh, great, man. Francine, but I think you're forgetting about it. The madman we hide in the attic. Francine, help! Um, I'm dealing with a little problem of my own. Nobody shoots my backup husband. What the hell is that? 
What? What's happening? Sam, I'm you from the future. We need to talk. I'm gonna kill him. You little... Uh. What? Damn, his athleticism. I swear, every time I help someone strengthen their core, it comes back to haunt me. Stan. Yo, why that dirty you got on women's shoes, Yep, huh? yep, we got some HVAC running through here. Steve, what are you doing? Expanding my room. I'm an only child now, so I get anything I want. You have to do whatever I say because I'm all you got. Well, and I what? want a bigger room. I want a closet like Big Made for Carrie and Sex in the City. I want a labradoodle and a nice camera to take pictures of us. Yeah, because at this point, the child is no good anymore. You just got to give him back to the streets. Legend has it that if you whoop a teenager enough, he'll call the police himself and get himself escorted out the premises forever. And that is makes Jack Schnefkin nasty. I'll act like a wolf man. No, you won't. I'm a wolf man. My dad is Stan Smith. <laughs> Don't put him on any task forces. You wouldn't do that. And I pant real fast. <laughs> Wear makeup under the eyes. <laughs> is that what you want, Dad? You know I got the pipes. Ow, 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 ow. Ah! Die, demon of the night. I was joking. You was joking. What? Don't joke about that. I won't. We won't. I do a serious job. I don't need this. We really appreciate everything you do. Where'd she go? She usually starts dinner at six. Ah! <laughs> I got you! Never mind. You just worry about that sink. Francine! I miss holding you! Start making dinner immediately! Take a picture, it'll last longer. What? Ah! Goodbye, Stan! About this house... We're moving. The house is moving. I see that now. See, Francine? It was a good idea, and it worked. Thanks to me, the Smith family is safe. How you get a bottle of rain duck. String on a corkscrew. Obviously, that's nothing. You wanted both steaks. Mm hmm. Mm. Is Francine dead? Mm -hmm. How long do you plan to be gone? As long as it takes. Maybe even longer. <laughs> Goodbye, Francine. Let me know how the kids turn out. Time! I invited him over for dinner this weekend. You did what? Hideki can't come here. He'll think I'm a loser. Ugh! And look at this wall. This place is falling apart. How could you do this to me? <laughs> Letter from Francine's mom. Biopsy results. Cease and desist. Oh, it came! It came! It came! Francine, a reply from the Bazooka Sharks. Don't move. I'm heading your way. Instead of constantly moping in your attic, why don't you come out with me and my friends sometime? I'll have to think about it. Okay. Let's smash them! Yeah! Kill them? No, smash their corporate offices! Okay! How? My friend Nerfer's got an armor-plated bulldozer! Oh, oh yeah! yeah! Honey! <gasps> oh my god! He's 
No, I Stan! Stan! Don't judge me. It was just a clone. <laughs> See? Doesn't even feel pain. Klaus! Rear address of the mailbox! I already know it! Stan! What were you thinking? Well, first I thought I'd smoke her out with a controlled fire. Then I lit the fire. Then I thought, I don't know how to control fire. What's that? Haley told me about the fire. I wouldn't be a good guest if I didn't bring something for my hosts. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. Did someone just drop a house on me? Mom, you're back. Enemy reinforcements, Rogu. Why does that house have a vagina on the top and bottom of it? The Alamo must not fall. Logu going to hell, but he not going alone. Oh, Roger, it's magnificent. Where did you get it? Oh, I got a great deal. This limo company went out of business. Ah, oh, you know damn well I stole it. Excuse me, is that the XLR Mega Zoom? I just got the same one. If, if you don't mind my asking, what'd you pay? You won't be undersold! Try this same camcorder at Monty's for $20 less! You have your receipt? No, I don't have a receipt! I stole the floor model! You're the guy who buys booze for kids? Sure, it's a great way to make money. That's how I bought my boombox, that's how I bought my dog Pepper, and that's how I bought this folding chair that turns into a backpack. I put it on and I'm completely mobile. Great! We'd like liquor, please. All right, be right back. If some little girl with a bruise on her cheek comes by and says this is her dog, it is. Pepper is stolen. Hey, Roger, a missing remote. Sounds like another case for... Wheels and the Leg Man. Enough! What the hell's your problem? Every Wheels and the Leg Man is the same. You pick some boring case, you bicker, then you solve it. The solution usually being that Roger is the culprit. It's true, I've got the remote right here. <sighs> what the hell are you talking about? Where's my shuffle? Your what now? That was the whole point of this. You were supposed to find my iPod shuffle, remember? Oh, is that what a shuffle is? I did not realize. Yeah, I took that. What? I was in Haley's room using her toothbrush to scrub the bird poo out of my red wig. What? Oh, God, I'm going to be sick. Can I finish my story, please? Anyway, I took your iPod from the dresser for a variety of complex reasons, the most important of which was that it was shiny. I erased all your music and filled it with ABBA. Don't really care for them, but I did it anyway. Okay, the cheapest Fabergé egg is $79,000. He's worth it. Can I get that with a side of bejeweled hash browns? <laughs> what? <laughs> Nothing. Guess you're all business down there in Clearwater, huh? <laughs> okay. Stan Smith, Visa 481. Roger? Nope. To our unconsummated friendship. To getting loose before we get murdered by crow people. Oh, God. What do you think? There were only four grapes, so I topped it off with gasoline and a little bit of nitroglycerin. For the tannins. That's what gives it its legs. And it pairs well with fudge. Ah, I'm fresh out. You know what? I'll just nip on over to the fudge shop. Hold up. What's this? It's my secret tunnel to the fudge shop. I can't believe you didn't mention this. Hey, I'm not particularly proud of stealing fudge, Stan. I'm even going to let you play with my specialist toys. My crystal spider collection. This is my favoritest of all. A daddy long legs. Now, I want you to be very, very careful with... Oh! Ah! He started it! So you were gonna drown him in the lake? Well, how do you kill babies? Shut up! He makes a good point. We better get this baby over to Coco's cabin. You go. I'm just gonna stare at the lake and think about how I almost killed a baby. Yes, Mr. Shershow, I may have left Sunrise Valley a girl, but I can assure you I return a confident, sexy woman who can shoe a horse and please her man. Yes, we have found our Miss Fiona. My dream has come true. You humble me. I am humbled. Excuse me. Go on, bitches. Show's over. I nailed it. 
Who can I kill? Well, just off the top of my head, Jeff Watley. Who's that? Real bad guy. Worst of the worst. Just awful. Come on, I'll explain on the way. This Watley's a real sicko. Got nabbed for sex trafficking in Lower Manhattan right after 9-11. He was running a kitty porn ring, but before the feds could drop the net on him, he moved the whole operation to Nova Scotia, where it's nice and legal. So he's got it coming. Oh, it doesn't stop there. Guy starts moving drugs between Nogales and Tucson. This case actually goes to trial, but Benton was on the bench, so need I say more? Only if you want me to understand. Take whatever you want! Please don't hurt me! It's payback time, you son of a bitch! What? Hey, I remember you. You're that guy who freaked out when I got the last pretzel at Wetzel's like two weeks ago. What are you waiting for? Kill him! Pretzel? What about all that horrible stuff you said he did? I was lying. I even offered you the pretzel. Yeah, after you drowned it in mustard. This isn't over, Watley. But what seriously, I, I want to do what the greats do when they get celebrated. I want to roast. I guess we can do that. We'll dress up nice, throw a few good-natured barbs your way. Good-natured? Oh, no. Don't you dare go light on me. The best roasts are brutal and hilarious. All right, it's time to hear from the man of the hour. Roger, you drunk, lazy <laughs> Get the waiter's <laughs> out of your mouth and get up here. Why? Why would you do this? What What did I ever do to any of you to make you say those incredibly hurtful things? Are you serious? Does it look like I'm not serious? Roger, this is what you asked for. You stay away from me, Francine. All of you stay away from me. This has been the worst night of my entire life. <laughs> you guys thought I tried to kill you? Hilarious! <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's so therapeutic to laugh. Hey, does anyone have the exact time? 8.04. Thank you, my love. Ow, ow. Oh, my running regimen is killing my lower back. Ah, oh, I gotta lie down. <laughs> you guys can get up now. It's definitely over. What the hell is You were right. Someone is trying to kill us. Let's get out of here. Get in the car. Let's go. Oh, you I think we're safe. Quick thinking back there, Roger. Roger? Roger might be trying to kill us. And we have no brakes. Did you save me a cookie? You bet I did. Last one. Oh, cookie, you look so good. Shh, shh, don't speak. I'll go get some milk for your bath. What the... Hey, that was my cookie! You snooze, you lose. You snooze, you lose, huh? Hmm, okay. Eat up. Eat up. Why wasn't I in any of those old family videos? Well, that's because all the footage was taken before you were adopted. What? what are you talking about? I'm not adopted. No, no, of course not. That'd be silly. You look just like your dad. Good night. I'm going to make you cry and dip my cookie in your tears. Ah! I asked Mom if I was adopted, and she said no. Yeah, what'd you think she was going to say? She's in too deep. But hey, don't take my word for it. I'm not in this one either. How can this be? Look at little Stevesy sleep. You snooze, you lose. <laughs> this must be very painful for you. So, now that you know they're not your real parents, are you going to call them Stan and Francine? No, I'm going to call them Mom and Dad. I'm still their son. Oh, Stan, calm down. As far as I'm concerned, we only have one child. It's like someone left the other one on our doorstep. <laughs> ah, I just love it when crap lines up like that. Oh, why would you do this? Mr. Madsen, I'm Tom, your son. No. Oh, my God. Tommy, is it really you? Jane, come quick! Mama? Thomas, you are alive! All these years, we never gave up hope.
Gotcha! <gasps> Those aren't your parents. That's for taking my cookie! What? Remember? You snooze, you lose. You... you put me through all this j just because I ate your cookie? Yeah. Dude, that is awesome! You so got me! Thanks. Thanks. Yeah, there were a couple times when I didn't think you were buying it. Hey, I I'm in a sailor suit! <laughs> Man, I should have known. These people aren't rich. Look at their house. It's a box. Oh, oh, picture, picture. Oh. Oh, my God, is it here? You're so adorable. Give me silly juice and watch me fall down. What the? I'm ugly and my butt is huge. I, I, I don't, I don't get it. They are your catchphrases. Roger, have you even read Steve's book? You bastard. Roger the clumsy alien. Roger who sips his silly juice and goes on delusional rants. And it's not silly juice, it's necessary juice. Watch your back. Ouch, oh, that ouchies, ouchies, ouch. Yeah, the kid's a total douche. And his voice. I'm Steve Smith. I wrote Roger the Alien. <laughs> I'm Steve Smith. I was never molested on the set of a mustard commercial when I was nine. Die, dream stealer! Ah! Oh. oh my god, I... I killed Steve. Ah! 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 Ready? One, two, Eve! <laughs> Au revoir, stardom. Oh, did I tie that to Steve's ankle? Guess I'm clumsy like he wrote in the book. How do you like that ending, Steve? This nigga really is petty. I gotta clean myself up, right? I should go back to school. Ah! Ah! Oh my god, what have I done? This gun, I've never even fired it before. I, and I heard Jennifer scream and everything went blank and I killed a man. Who am I to take a life? Am I beast or man? Beast! Daddy! <laughs> no! Jeez, get me out of here. That's huh? real. <laughs> We've been here three generations, and now they're tearing us down to put in the new stadium. You poor old man. This lamp sucks. I'll give you two bucks for it. Mom, that is disgusting. Taking advantage of... Wait, half off this birdcage? Please, I could really use this. I foster abused birds. I'd like to put a candle in it. See? What did I tell you about the leg room in the back seat? Very roomy. And it's an extremely safe first car for your daughter. You're a good dad. Your dad's a good dad. Hey, check it out. This thing can stop on a dime. Think fast! <laughs> oh. Stan! Haley's been shot! So what? She shot me before. I've shot you a couple times. Everybody shoots everybody. It's how we communicate in this family. <laughs> All right. I'll tell her you asked about her. You tell her whatever you want, but that's not how it went down. You're 30! Oh You're doing great! Do I hear 40? Hey, 40, 45, 50! Do I hear 60? Oh! Baby, no! Oh! Super secluded. And the Maine breezes stand? Oh my god, they're curative. Okay, Maine. Maine? Maine? Maine! Those bones look broken. I suggest you get to Maine immediately. Wow! Yes, there's only so much Maine can do. Let us out of here! My family thinks I'm dead! There's gonna be hell to pay! The men seem to be thriving, Roger. I'll say. You know, if we're going to do that little detour to Lake Champlain, which I would really like to do, the men will have to be subdued. Oh, we're doing the trip. <sighs> All right, piggies, it's watering time. I made it! I'm free! Call for help!
911. I'd like to report a fire. And where are you? Where? I'll tell you where. In a better place now than I was earlier. Um, what does that even mean? It means I gotta learn to like myself. Even if my big boy butt never comes in. You know what, kid? I think you're gonna be alright. Yeah. Yeah, me too. I've always wanted to eat a gorilla. A gorilla that can speak sign language. I want to eat its brain. Oh, that is truly horrifying. Ugh, I'm disgusted. You should be disgusted. But I do know a guy. How Wait, do you know a guy? If you're getting out of here, could you take me with you? You have my word, Matilda. about you. Whoa! About about Greg. Now I really need to do my vocal warm-ups. Me, 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 me. Not Greg, not Greg, not Greg. All that is his will be mine. We did all of this. Francine got you on the air and I abused my CIA powers to make that super storm. You made this storm? Lives were destroyed. But Greg's life was fixed. Now you've got a new work partner and a new life partner. Now kiss, you two lovebirds, and put some mustard on it. Aren't you straight? Yes, but I'm terrified of these people. They can control the weather. Mm. Yeah, well, I've got a special bond with my dog, too. Whoa, Ryan. Oh, yeah, you're such a good boy, aren't you, Flea Biscuit? Good boy. Oh, you're, you're the best thing that's ever happened to me. Oh, yes, and you have a super active tongue. Oh, my. Okay, so we're going to head home. Oh, 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 what? Or just go to the park. Ah! Ah, let's get to work. Roger, wake up. I need you. Okay, here we go. I knew it was only a matter of time. Awkward. Joining us for family movie night? Tonight's feature, Basic Instinct. Is this... Are we sure this is a family movie? Roger, can I see you in the kitchen? Oh, yes, kitchen. Yes, Klaus! No! Oh my god, yes! Be quiet! What? Stan and Francine are right outside! I don't care if they find out! You're crazy and I love it. Mm. No! What the- What the- Were you two making out? No! Are you nuts? Sorry, this pink eye is making me see things. Nurse Margaret gave me eye drops, but I, I think it's getting worse. I might have- Get the f out! Oh, that was so hot. Mm. What the oh. fuck? What's up? It's not what you think. I believe you. You know, I was thinking this weekend we could go out with Derek and Tommy. What do you think? Honey? Hello? <laughs> what? Who is Roger? that? Roger. Oh, my God. Okay, wow. Can we please be grown-ups about this? Because I can't. <laughs> Roger! Roger, can you hear me? <sighs> Damn it, Roger! At first, we barely even got along. But then we realized we had a ton in common. Like telling this story. We both apparently love telling this story. I thought I was just going to do it on my own, but oh well. It turns out Betty and I are also both huge fans of laughing while drinking tea. <laughs> Tom eventually invited me to take a beginner's yoga class. We connected on a spiritual level. <laughs> what the? What? Oh. Wow! Francie with the shits! Oh, Steve, you're home. I made bologna roll-ups for Snot and your... Cousin? Mm, cousin. Cousin.
You can have these, Steve. We have roll-ups of our own. Mm -hmm. Ah! Oh, hello, Haley. I'm here visiting my girlfriend. Ew. She's jealous. You're so classy. Mm -hmm. Um, what is going on here, Jenny? I'll tell you what's going on here. I like Snot. He's cute and he's funny and he treats me nice. Reminds me of a young Paul Reiser. He is nothing like a young Paul Reiser. He's Rob Morrow on his best day. Listen, Jenny, I should probably get home anyway. No, don't go. I don't want to go. Then stay. I wish I could stay forever. Promise me you'll visit my dreams tonight. Oh, come on! You call that acting? This is acting. Oh my god. That's nothing. What the f What? No. the crap out of you. Public indecency? We weren't really doing it, we were just acting. No, Francine. He needs a prince. What the hell are you doing? Me? You're the one making a move. I was just napping on this pedestal in the perfect light in my most prettiest dress. My father and I were estranged. So much so that we couldn't even be in the same room at the same time. But he was so proud of Gina that he couldn't resist introducing me to her. Yeah, she's a bad one. Oh, and then shit. Jerry and I started having an affair, and we did it, like, all the time. And we did it everywhere. Oh, my bed! Come on! Oh, it feels good to laugh. Thanks for reminding me how. It's like I'm looking at you through the eyes of Vilmos Sigmund, cinematographer of Close Encounters. Oh, I know Vilmos. I was his favorite extra. God, there's so much I don't know about you. I should probably go. Why? Two friends lit by candlelight. What could go wrong? The question is, what could go right? How about I light a few more? I don't know where your back ends and my hands begin. Oh, the outside world. Hello? Roger. It's Haley. Look, I've been kidnapped by my dad. He's working with terrorists. Haley, my hands are dripping with coconut oil. I can't talk. Now, where were we? Oh, yeah, here. Oh! Steve? Roger? Are you up there? What? W what have we been doing? It must have been the candles, right? Get out. Oh! Wow, you're not afraid of anything. Are you afraid of little kisses? Mwah. How about a little kiss on your chin? Mwah. How about your belly? Mwah. And what's this? Oh, hello. Mwah. What type of nasty shit? Morning, Snowflake. What the hell are you doing, Roger? You're scaring me. No, 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 it's good. It's good. I just want to be as close to you as possible. Like John and Yoko. You're Yoko. Can't get close enough. Don't you hate that we're two separate people? Roger, take me home! I just want to burrow into you like a love tick. I want us to be one person, two hearts inside one skin. <gasps> That's it! Oh, no. Roger, whatever you're thinking... I'm gonna cut off your skin and drape it all over my body! Well, so... This is goodbye. Oh, you dummy. Why couldn't you have just listened to me? None of this would have happened. <sighs> Why weren't me and you ever single at the same time? Hey, boys!
Lara Vanderboopen's the name, and I just joined your workforce. Yourself on me. What? Who said that? Huh. <coughs> 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 Probably shouldn't have farted before I started that walk. Motherfucker, what? Excuse me, bitch? <coughs> <coughs> You're... you're magnificent. Hello. Roger, where did you learn to skate? On my planet. You really haven't read my MySpace page, have you? You say you have, but you really haven't. I can't live under the roof of a man who's forcing me to walk in his ignorant footsteps. And I can't live under the roof. Literally, I, I live right under the roof and I hate it. Farewell, simpleton. Après moi, le déluge. That's what Andrew Cunanan wrote in his high school yearbook. Bye, daisies. Prove that. I I'm don't believe I'm so her. nervous. This is my first soap opera audition. Oh, my God, I didn't is see it? you there. You make absolutely no impression at all. Betty B. Getty McClanahan, we're ready for you. Good luck. Oh, oh, you did it again. <laughs> Darling, I swear, put a bell around your neck or something. <laughs> yes, Mr. Shershow, I may have left Sunrise Valley a girl, but I can assure you I return a confident, sexy woman no. who can shoe a horse and no. please her man. No. Yes, we have found our Miss Fiona. <laughs> My dream has come true. You humble me. Yeah. I am humbled. Yeah. Excuse me. Yeah. Go on, bitches. Show's over. I nailed it. You oh. take our clothes without asking and then disappear all day so you can run around as one of your ridiculous personas. I regret my dance card is filled for the evening, but there's always the spring cotillion. Yeah, it doesn't matter how you treat people when you could blame it on Professor Edelstein or AT&T operator Sholanda Dykes. Speaking of which, that credit for my friends and family plan still hasn't shown up on my bill. That credit was generated after your last statement. It'll show up on your next bill. Oh, okay, thank you. Thank you for choosing AT&T. I just had my colors done, and Lydia tells me I'm an autumn. Roger, I've been standing with you here the whole time. You haven't talked to anybody, and you're putting lipstick on your eyelids. You're just jealous. You know, if you fixed yourself up a little, men would find you attractive, too. Instead of wondering if you're in the middle of gender reassignment surgery. Please, men find me way more attractive than you. Oh, yeah? Five El Pollo Loco coupons says you're wrong. You're on. Damn right <laughs> I'm on. I'm on fire! Whoops, nip slip. Ah. Oh. Ah. oh, you should both go. The one he walks up to is the cute one. Okay, we'll go. And this time, Haley, we'll prove who's more of a woman. Roger, did you draw that on? Yes. Aroused? Uh. Well, it's not for you! I do a Wayne bow! You, I'll have a gin and tonic. Oh, and a small plastic bag and some industrial solvent. Oh, adorable. But you're just a little girl. You can't drink or huh? Oh, my God. I'm trapped on a plane and I can't get a drink. No, no. Ah! Ah! <laughs> All right, people, I'm done screwing around. There's a human life at stake. A little girl. And until she's returned to me safely... I'm going to kill a passenger every 60 seconds, starting with this little boy. <gasps> they found her! <laughs> Just make it out to Jeannie Gold Weddings. Who's that? Jeannie Gold, wedding planner. This is my emergency wedding kit. Everything you need for last-minute snafus. Needle and thread, band-aids <clears throat> for sore heels... Fake hymens for those not-so-well-behaved Middle Eastern brides. <laughs> These beauties are packed full of ox blood. Trust me, that bedroom will look like the set of a Wes Craven movie the next morning. Hey, you must be the children, Jeannie Gold. I wanted to discuss the gift you're buying your parents for their anniversary. I'm just gonna get them a card. Sign my name to it. Forever yours, S. They'll know. You'll do better than a card. It's their 20th. China is the traditional gift. <sighs> Leave us alone, Roger. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I want a little Ike Turner. Caught you on the side of the head so you can cover it with your hair. I don't want you bruised for the photos. That's how good I am. Now find That's a meaningful gift. Disappoint me, and next time you'll be dealing with Valik. Who? Listen to Genie or I cut you. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to present to you once again as husband and wife... Can we get more garlic bread? Stan and Francine Smith. Move it along. We only have the place for another half hour. 
Who wants orange? Root beer? I got two light beers. They were on the dashboard of my car for a long time. They are hot to the touch. Anybody? They do not have dessert here, but I brought a bag of Chips Ahoy. I was keeping it in a cooler so the chocolate chips wouldn't melt, but the water soaked through the bag. Long story short, some of the cookies are wet. I'll spread them out over here in the sun. Help yourselves. Everyone having a good time? Best wedding ever, right? I'm ruined. Stan, this is Prostitute. ridiculous! How are you even going to get backstage? With a little help from me. The name's Abby. Abby Road. And when it snows, I need to be plowed. All right, Stan, there's the VIP section. That's where the band is. Come on, follow my lead. Hi. My hand's doing this. Can you think of any way you'd want to be a part of it? Bouncers love shooting dice, and I've got a loaded pair, so I knew we could win our way in. Okay, Stan, just let me do the talking. And remember, no matter what happens, we stick together. Hi, it's just me. I'm by myself. What happened? What? Everyone, this is Tanqueray. She's moving in. I'm gonna make her a success. Hell yeah, gonna get her pregnant. Oh, we're wearing the same outfit. Take a good look, sweetie. This is how you wear that. Yeah! Nine years of gymnastics, bitch. And get her out of those clothes. And then rob her, kill her, cut off her head and hands, and bury her by the crick. Got it. Actually, no. Just get her changed. Oh, we just avoided a funny misunderstanding. <laughs> I almost cut your hands off. All right, come on, I'll race you upstairs. I don't know if I want to be here, Roger. Come on, a little wang will cheer you right up. So your mulch business is going under. It's not the end of the world. Yeah, it just means my dad was right. Are you supposed to be pregnant or fat? Eight months preggers. They don't make you buy the two drink minimum when you're knocked up, snuck in my own. This is a party ball. Ah. Perfect par. That, however, was urine I just drank. See, at least Roger shows the proper respect for this holiest of days. Ah, oh, I love your religion. For the crazy! Virgin birth, water into wine. It's, it's like Harry Potter, but it causes genocide and bad folk music. Huh? Huh? <laughs> who, who am I nudging? There's no one next to me. I hope I haven't missed the part where the three Chinese guys give perfume to the star baby. <laughs> it's, it's like the diaries of a madman. <laughs> Name's Fantasia Lopez, and I'm on my way to welfare to get some free stuff. Don't you worry, babies. Mama's gonna get some food stamps so you can get the milk duds you need. <coughs> the what? system works! What? I need to be over there. What? I'm gonna keep swinging my baby lasso till I catch me a man. Yacinda and her understudy were both injured in a freak accident. Well, how are we going to do the show without a leading lady? Luckily, I met an ingenue today who knows the play by heart. Everyone meet Clashawn Montague. Diamonds, diamonds, friends, and men, diamonds. Can't believe you sabotaged those girls. Really? Seems like something I would totally do. Anybody want a piece of this? Against my will? I won't accuse anyone. Okay, lady, you've had enough. I want to hear it from him. You've probably had enough. You were too big to punch. Stan, what are you doing here? You called me. No, I didn't. Stan, I'm at shenanigans. I'm super drunk and about to get raped. Come pick me up. In 45 minutes. Hey, I did call you. And I sound great. I should get voiceover work. In a world where vomit comes out of my mouth. <laughs> you gonna play that game or just lean on it? Name's Jenny. Jenny from DeBlock. I'm Steve's cousin visiting from Jersey. Yes! Y yes, she is. I, I didn't mention it because... No one's doing the math. Your hair, it's curly. You should see it when I wash it on Tuesdays. <laughs> oh, no. You're funny. Only once a week? Come on, boys. Let's give these two a little space. So, buy me a soda pop? I've only got enough money for one Coke. Oh, that's so sweet. We'll share. Or I'll just have it. I made bologna roll-ups for snot in your... Cousin? What the cousin. Cousin. bologna cousin. roll-ups, bruh? You can have these, Steve. We have roll-ups of our own. Mm -hmm. Ah! Oh, hello, Haley. I'm here visiting my girlfriend. Ew.
She's jealous. You're so classy. Mm-hmm. That's that's a whole dude, man. That's a grown ass the nigga. They're all gone. Half of those belong to Brendan Fraser. Oh, thank the stars you made it. Come here, I've got you. Oh, bless you, Roger. I was afraid I... Thank God this one survived. I can still go to cowboy weddings. <laughs> Francine, I haven't been entirely truthful with you. Oh, come on! I don't really know where she wanted to be buried. Hell, I don't even remember her name. But one thing I do remember is her hair. I told you that no one makes a decent red wig these days. So I had to go find my own. Took her years to finally croak, but it was worth the wait. You're pretty happy, aren't you? I am content, yes. You're a lovely couple. So which one of you is the man? That's fucked <sighs> up. Oh, Omar, you were always the one who was good at small talk. What am I going to do without you? Who's going to set the recorder so I don't miss NCIS? I love that show. I haven't missed an episode. But if I did, it wouldn't matter. Because they're, they're all, all the, the same. same. <laughs> 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 I'm Larry. Abigail. Abigail Lemon Party. Abigail Lemon Party, would you like to go with me to the luau tonight? Oh, Larry. As my grandmother would say, as long as you're not a Puerto Rican. Thank you, Omar. Thank you for showing me I can go on without you. I know what you did to our kids, you monster! <laughs> why, why can't I leave things nice? Lord, it's warm. Devil fought it thick today. We got a faithful, didn't we? Edna, be a good girl. Run downstairs and give the air conditioner a kick, won't you? Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry, I've spoken out of turn. Oh no, it was your turn. I'd just spoken, and now it's my turn again. And I'm going to use that turn to do this. <laughs> Quiet now, just like you wanted. Edna, what have you done? What on Lucifer's black beach have you done? Where's my baby? Your baby? Oh, God, no. No! no! Oh, you must be the new applicants. Hi, I'm Skylar Montessori, founder of Rainbow Unicorn Gardens. We are an elite, exclusive daycare, but we strive for diversity. This one's dirt poor. It's fun. Whoa, 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 sirs. This is a daycare. Your girls are getting too old. Fortunately, my sister happens to run a girl's finishing school in this very attic. What? My sister mentioned you'd be by. Madeline Carpel Tunnel, pleased to meet you. Back straight, girls. And remember, those books are for posture only. A literate girl is a lonely girl. Greetings. My ah! name is Ruby Zeldestein. I'm a medium to the other side, and I make a hell of a shoe fly pie. Are we really going to do this? Do you have a medium character? Oh, there is a presence here. A very bitter presence. The entity in this house was born specifically out of Francine's sexual frustration. I like Ugh. to call it... A poltergasm. What are you doing? I just drew a trademark sign with my finger, child, because I've registered the word poltergasm. Any movie scripts you write based on your experiences here, Ruby gets a slice. This house is clean. But as for those sheets... I still don't know what a poltergasm is. Of course, of course, of course, come in, come in. Hope you like nothing, because that's what I got to hide. <laughs> hey, do you mind if we meet in the kitchen? My, my fish and this, uh, little girl are trying to set a couch-sitting record. You don't remember me? I'm Jean Louise Finch. You brought us some molasses one foggy morning, remember? So, yeah, let's, let's go to the kitchen. 
I'm Genevieve Bavance. Tonight on News Glance, is heroin the new cure for cancer? What I don't know about things will shock you. And cut. We're clear. You're late. You're Genevieve Vance? I thought I was working for a real reporter. I am a real reporter. I broadcast live to Langley Falls every night on Channel 438 after reruns of the Taiwanese Prayer Breakfast. First pitch meeting is this afternoon. Prepare to wow me. You're already halfway there. I love that jacket. Is it? Yeah, cheap. I, I just want to make sure Haley's okay. She um, hasn't been returning my calls. Yeah, 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 Haley's fine. But have you met my younger, also single daughter, Ramona? Hi, I'm Regina. Uh, I, I really j just want to see Haley. Forget Haley. Can she do this? Oh, I don't know. Or what about this? Hot. Probably not. Well, can Haley do this? No way Haley can do this. Look, it was nice to meet you, Ramona, but Haley's the only girl for me. How about next time you bring your A game? Stan! Reversing this is a two-man job, Stan! Hey, no, stop! You get my insides dirty! Stan! I'm gonna win! I'm gonna win! Whoa! Oh, honey, you were so close to winning an iPod Nano. Go tell your caregiver you need more money. Roger! What? If I let her win, everybody will know there's no iPod Nanos in those boxes. Just dry dog doo-doos. Well, they should be dry by now. I gave you a five. And I gave you four quarters. <gasps> what the fuck is wrong with this <laughs> asshole? Oh my god, what the hell's that? Oh, the tattoo. Yeah, that's my wife. Don't worry, the way I have sex, you won't be seeing her much. That's your wife? That's who you're married to? Yes, that's Rosalind. Of course, that's her in her prime before the accident. So you, you live with your wife? Like, all the time? Yeah. I mean, much of the time she's out of town for her experimental treatments. There it is. Question. So, but before the accident, this, uh, worked for you? Yeah. I mean... <laughs> Clearly, I have a type. She's been in an iron lung since she choked on a pixie stick and paralyzed her diaphragm. She just lies there, mute. Axe, she's lying to you. You know how she goes away for experimental treatments? Those are our getaways. Let's just say the treatments are extremely experimental. But Rosalind is so frail. She really perks up once you get her out of the iron lung. Stop! You'll kill her! Ah, forget it. Well, this was a waste of eight years. Thanks, Haley. If you want to ride home, I'm leaving now. That bitch ain't shit! He's my ride. She? He? He? Man, ah! these CIA auctions are amazing. There's so much cool stuff. Hey, can we get a Farsi translator? Please, please, please? Will you feed her and take her for walks? No. Excusees, has the Colombian boat been searched for cocaine? Uh, yes, there is no cocaine on the boat. Take backs! Me too! I'm out! Sold to the transvestite in the red dress! Whoa, whoa, whoa! He is good! He's got a better eye than Gary Marshall. She runs a charity to raise awareness. <laughs> Charities. It's all about podcasts these days. She's even got time for the homeless. Time? I have sex with the homeless. Roger, she's married to a dentist. <gasps> Thank you. Oh, I just adore the service here. Can I trouble you for a glass of water? Yep, yes, yeah, she's at all. Oh. What is, he, is he gonna hit her with it? Thank you. Uh, before I order, you might want to get that couple first. They were here before me. I don't get it. She waiting to suck some penis or? Holy shit! She 
is amazing. She thought I worked here. You kind of do. Mm. Mouth still wide open. It should be called big women. Big women. Try huge. Bruh. Mm. Cecilia Takaru's the name. Born on a sleigh ride outside St. Petersburg. Closer to Tampa, actually. Or as us tampons like to call it, home of Hulk Hogan. <laughs> My <laughs> Studied literature at space camp for four years, which naturally led me to franchise the Chimdale Ikea. Not a stress-free job, but I have a handle on it. Why does her hair look like a Sorry, candy I blacked cane? Out. Oh yeah, Little Women. Really Alcott like called a candy it Little cane. Women because she was challenging the male-centric Huck Finn and the role of females in a post-colonial America. Wow. Welcome, Cecilia. I I'm not familiar with the space camp curriculum, but wasn't Little Women published 20 years before Huck Finn? In, in space, time is very fluid. As Einstein hypothesized stuff from earlier, might actually be from later. Pull it together. Einstein's theory of relativity. And to come up with that, riding a Strassenbahn in Vienna, I'd say it was a greater leap for mankind than the moonwalk. <laughs> what are you doing? Mare, mare? Is that my negligee? I'm so sorry. I, I just admire you so much, and I saw it, and, 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 and... Oh, promise me you're not mad. What? I'm extremely mad. We don't even know each other. I mean, what's your name? Meredith. But that's my name. I know. You told me I could be whoever I want. And I chose you. But I'm me. Mm, sorry, you're already taken. I'd like you to leave right now. And I'd like you to give me your pants, because we're so obviously the same size. Why are you acting like this? Gee, I don't know, Meredith, too. Maybe it's because I'm standing here in my delicates like a crazy person! <laughs> oh my god, she's out cold! What have I done? What do I do? What would Meredith do? Run, bitch! Of course. The answer's right in front of me. Some steak for a tragically young widow, please. Which kind would you like? There are different kinds. My dead husband buys... I'm sorry. My dead husband used to buy our steaks. As I said, I'm a widow. Ribeye is the best. But does it also cost the least? Since my husband died, I've been so overwhelmed learning what different things cost. For a widow, it's on the house. I'm the same as her. Just drop it in the sack. Widows! I can't let you test drive a Lamborghini. You have no jobs, no credit, no husbands. We're widows. Roger? Where'd you get the car? The agency sent it. Probably as a show of good faith. Contract negotiations were not something we engaged in. Wait, don't you want to hear about me? <sighs> Go ahead, say your words. I got the job at that diner. What do you know? I know I said I needed to hear what it would be like to be a real widow, but I think I need... Take us to the office, Gerald. Yes, sir. But then I'm going to have to close out your fare. Fare? Wait, the company didn't send you? No, I'm an Uber driver you hired a few days ago when you were drunk. Uber X? Uber Black. Oh my god. Oh my Damn. god, I'm ruined. Roger, Roger, marketing, marketing, genius, 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 me. Would everybody shut up? You guys oh. got it good. I don't even have someone to sex it to. The only women around here are my mom and sister. The more things change, the more they stay the same. <laughs> <laughs> you said it, Stan. What is everyone complaining about? This boat is the best! Don't you think all your friends would love to be here with you? If they could see you now and all this fun that you found But they surely can't because they've all drowned Ghostly corpses on the ocean bed They die of jealousy, but they're already dead But if they could see you now out on this party boat cruise Living the life and huffing diesel fumes The only thing that we have to do Is watch the temperature gauge and make it stay in the blue <laughs> Check out this petting zoo, wow! And this one's all you can eat 
ever had giraffe soup? Pow, you're in for a treat. What a fun ship, holy cow. When you have to poop, be sure you do it over the bow. Climbing walls, there's just so much to do. And free blankets, wait, that's a dead kangaroo. This boat's the cat's meow, meow. If your friends could see you now. Yes, what are you doing here? Who's watching the temperature game? Stan, I need you to sign this permission slip for a school trip. Well, I'm a little busy getting 20 years of crap off the patio. Is Brett Ratner's career on the patio? Oh, burn! Tell you what, you sign my permission slip, and I'll loan you my power washer. You think it's strong enough to do the job? Let's just say the Statue of Liberty uses it to shower, which she doesn't do often because she's French. That's crazy. But it's your funeral, bro. These are my opening credits. Oh, sorry. I was just taking out the garbage. Did I mess things up? Franny, be honest. Do you think I have what it takes to be a sexy lifeguard? Roger, I don't know what's happening. I want a cigarette and five shots of Patron. Roger, you can't smoke or drink during your pregnancy. Uh, okay, but can't I just cook the tiniest bit of meth? It won't hurt nobody. Here, have some pickles instead. Oh, God, the smell. Ugh. Get that away from me! But these are your favorite. <laughs> I think I missed a spot. Ugh, this is disgusting. I'm disgusting and I hate this thing! You! You did this to me! <laughs> I think if I had just a tiny bit of mess, it'd settle my stomach. No, Roger. Just a little quisto? Got my first shift for Southwest Airlines today. What? You don't know anything about being a flight attendant? But I do know comedy, and that's all that matters at Southwest. With you there, people should check their sensitivities at the gate. Oh my god, that's like a perfect Southwest joke! I want that joke! Give me that joke! Uh, you're getting syrup in my hair! Somebody help her! You can use it! Jesus! Yay! And as a thank you, I'll tell you how to get your seat upgraded without paying a dime extra. That's right, American Dadders. There's all kinds of travel tips the airlines don't want you to know about. For instance, guns aren't allowed on planes. So if you can get one on, you'll have a tremendous amount of leverage. Then you can sit wherever you want. Whoa, I was paralyzed for like 10 seconds. I couldn't move. Did anyone else see that? I thought I had a stroke. And that affects the vine? It all affects the vine. And shares, if I could turn back time, was at the top of the charts when our wine was made. Can the vine see your outfit? This is for you. Oh, 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 <gasps> oh, 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 whoa, 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 Roger, oh, stop, oh, Roger. Oh, uh, is my dick oh, showing like shares did? No, oh, there's a tornado. Oh, yeah, that's why we're here, silly. That's Julia. She's new in town. I heard she was hurt terribly by a man she loved. Weren't we all Poor, sweet, fragile thing. I heard she's looking for a fresh start. I heard she had her bottom ribs removed so she could go down on herself. I've had such a wonderful night, but I hope you understand. I, I can't let you come inside. I respect that. So, you can either do it on my back or my feet. Dealer's choice. Percy? Percy? Jesse? What's your name, darling? Tawny Luxardo, one of the escorts you hired to have sex for money. Listen, I got VIPs here. Stop telling everyone you're an escort. Gotcha. Low key. I'm all over it. I'll circulate, but give me the signal. Two taps on the nose, and I'll come running to suck you off. Did you just do it? I blinked. <laughs> we almost died. I thought it was curtains for old Tawny. I realize now life is precious. I want a baby. Who wants to give old Tawny a baby? Who 
wants to support old Tawny and her baby for the rest of their lives. Hmm. Stop right there. What kind of mashugana curriculum is being taught here? Opa! And who, God damn it! who are you? Mrs. Weinsteinopolis. Half Greek, half Jewish, all overprotective mother to my son, Dimitri, here. Mom, we talked about boundaries. And I told you, my heart knows none. Damn it, we came home. Poorly reviewed eBay seller. Hey, Spanish! Well, if it isn't my arch nemesis, Genie Gold. Yes, it is I, incontinent wedding planner Genie Gold, who is, of course, also your sister. Oh, so many things make sense now. I think your experience is going to be a lot different than that, because Pendlington is an all-girls school? Please, please don't tell Gina I said anything. Don't tell Gina what? Oh, shit. Don't look at him for help. This is between you and me. I'm still pissed at you. For what? What did I do? You're the one who's an hour late. At least I showed up, unlike you, to my candle store opening. Hey, uh, I, I think I'm going to bounce. I'm sorry I didn't make the opening, but I can come by the candle shop tomorrow. Can't. Failed. Turns out taco smell is not something people are looking for in a candle. Oh. I'm gonna be a supermodel. Oh! What the hell? Is anyone else seeing this? Christian woman. Oh, yeah. You know she's Christian because she's wearing shit that makes her look like a very ah. fluorescent lady. Statue of Liberty. Ah, ah, there's no room. There, there, there's no... It doesn't work that way. You almost killed me. Roger, how do you eat everything and not gain any weight? Good genes, I guess. Hashtag blessed. Hashtag tapeworm. <laughs> I'm modeling. What the hell is going on? Oh, shit. Come on, babe, why don't we paint the town? And all that ham, I'm gonna rouge my knees and roll my stockings down. And all that ham, start the car, I know a whoopee spot. Where the ham is cold, but some of it's also hot. It's just a noisy hall where there's a nightly brawl. And all that jazz ham. Excuse me, could you keep it down? Some of us are trying to learn. Roger, what are you doing here? It's Lacey Crinklehole, and I'm here to make sure you graduate. This is about my room, isn't it? Sure is. Can you believe it? The valedictorian and star of her high school's production of Pirates of Penzance is here to help you graduate. You're lucky I couldn't go to Harvard because my mom got super sick. Don't ask. Now let's learn everything there is to know about advanced theory? Yeah, I guess I could have one. To a chaste kiss with Ronnie. Hmm, that's not too bad. Makes my tummy feel confident. And you look beautiful. Have some more. Look at me go, Haley. I'm coming out of my shell. Maybe I'll even let Ronnie hold my hand. I sucked seven dicks, and I didn't even get to Ronnie. What? Thanks for your business, Leo. We'll get you there next time, buddy. What? I knew Leo wasn't going to orgasm. In fact, I made sure of it. He doesn't know, but I've been working against him. Do you keep Rogu in the room while you... Punch aluminum siding salesman in the balls? Yes, Steve. But I always put Rogu in the bath with his favorite music. Hey, buddy. The itsy bitsy Rogu was wearing his headphones because his dad was giving a rusty trombone. 
This way he has no idea what's going on. What? Is daddy. What? Yeah. Maybe I should do my dates outside the house. Here go! Down your ball! Get a beat! Why are you failing my son? Answer me, dirtbag! He had his Japanese friend do his writing assignment. Look! I look around me and I see it isn't so! What? I mean, why'd you cheat? <sighs> oh my god! Oh! Oh! Haley, don't make me spare your life because you're part of the family. Oh, shit, it's like that bike thing from Mr. and Mrs. Smith! I never should have tried to control you. You were on your own path to happiness. And if killing me will put you back on that path, then go ahead. No. Just know that I love you and I always will. You're my little girl. Now, if you still feel you can pull that trigger... Because I've got something you don't. Your hair. <gasps> hey, that's racist! You know, Steve, I don't say it often enough, but I love you. And the Oscar goes to someone else! Damn it, Steve! When I find you, I'll kill you! <sighs> there we go. I guess I misjudged you folks. I thought you were trying to hide something. Us? Oh, that's so silly! Ow! She bit me! What? <gasps> you were gonna let me die for $1,800? No! Yes. No. Can I see the back? You butchered my hair! Life is not worth living! Klaus, no! It's not worth it! Suffer <laughs> for your crimes! <coughs> Sometimes I escape to a little place in my head where no one complains about the meals I cook. <coughs> and there's no more scraping snot rockets off the shower tiles. <coughs> and no more PB&J with the crust cut off. <sighs> Run, bitch! Oh my god! I'm sorry, Mr. S. Your daughter and I have just been fighting a lot, and I'm not sure she's awesome. Just say the word. Don't do it, Francine. All I heard was, do it! Yeah! Honey, it's not loaded. Ow. And in order to protect my family, I'll have to kill him. Or you. Or both of you. You wouldn't kill me. You love me too much. <sighs> <laughs> Thank you for helping an old man. Now this! What are you doing? Killing you before you kill me! Yeah! <laughs> I'm off for a little night run at the Howard University track. Well, sit down and have dinner first. Thank you, no. I'm going for a run, and I have to leave here right now, immediately. Guys, get in here. The porn channel's coming in for some reason. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Is everyone okay? Hey, does anyone have the exact time? 8.04. Thank you, my love. Ow, ow. Oh, my running regimen is killing my lower back. Ah, oh, I gotta lie down. You guys can get up now! It's definitely over! Roger? Roger might be trying to kill us. And we have no brakes. Guys, I saw the sign! You're alive! It's too late! A switch went off inside me that night, and now all I think about is killing you guys. My first few attempts failed, so I'm changing my approach. Gonna get more creative. Is that a spiked dildo and acid lube? What type of Friday night freak nasty shit he got popping? Nothing set in stone, although I'm pretty sure these scorpions are going in Steve's butt. Mind the curb. <clears throat> uh, oh. You know, for a big time super spy, you sure get knocked out easy. That's not true. Take it back! Take it back, I said! First, let me ask you something. How many eggs should I eat to get enough energy to plow your wife? Uh, three should do it. What? <coughs> Thanks for the five Gs. We're almost there. It's just another block. Hookers! Oh!
What are you fine ass ladies doing out here all alone? That last was the man. Our bodies. Sold. Get in. Two of them are men. Now we're going to the hospital, and that's. Wait a minute. This is my life. I'm Steve. Yeah. Yeah. You make a good point. Okay. We'll switch faces just as soon as I fix this lamp. What's wrong with it? It's broken. Ah, I shouldn't have hit him in the face. That's my face. It's Christina Aguilera's larynx. Oh, get it away from me! Oh, what's going on? Back to sleep. <laughs> oh! Ninja! Ninja! <gasps> now let's celebrate. Hey! Oh, hell no! Now nah, you done it! Yeah! Ah! <gasps> He's gonna take my necklace away! Franny, I, I just need a little time to think. Maybe you do too, huh? Now we both have a little time to think. Thinking's good. Thinking's what rational people do. I mean, where will you live? This affects everyone! Whoa, what's this? Is the sidewall cracking? Shouldn't be. I just got these. Sex pun! You're alive! Except you're... You completely boned me! Well, usually you debone fish, so I did good, huh? <laughs> what did I do? You did it, Stan! You're a hero! I am? The way you picked yourself up and somehow got everyone to go back to their dorms? Amazing work. Hi, I'm the chancellor of this university. I'm also Olympic gold medalist Mark Spitz. Oh my god, Mark Spitz! Easy, child. I'd like to bestow upon you our highest honor, my mustache. Achoo! Uh, I'm still unconscious, aren't I? One more level to go. Now it's time to say good night, Steve. Daniel? Oh, good night, Steve. Daniel, no. I'm sorry, where are my manners? Good night, Putin. <sighs> For the love of. Hit him! Hit him in the head with a shotgun! <laughs> y you, uh, you made that an uncomfortable experience for me, Daniel. Didn't have to be. Should have been fun. Haley, I'm in love with you. Oh, 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 no, Roger. We're friends. I mean, I'm flattered, but you know I'm married. All right, well, fantastic then. Roger, what are you... No! Steve, I freaked out. Relax, they're just blanks. Blanks? Oh, hi, I'm Stan Smith. I think it's cool to trick my daughter. Who cares if it scars her for life? I guess they weren't all blanks. Dad, help him! Call a real ambulance! Paint! Woohoo! Awesome! Oh, yeah. yeah! Red team oh. wins! Wait, stop! Remember when you had the chicken pox and I gave you this bear? <laughs> ah! Just know that I love you and I always will. You're my little girl. Now, if you still feel, you can pull that trigger. <gasps> Stan! Are you okay? Yeah, I just had a dream that I was dead. You were? For six whole minutes. What? I want you to hurt me to make up for how I treated you. Here, take my gun and shoot me through the cheek. Stan, I am not going to... Sorry again about the whole cheek thing. I, I didn't mean to... Nonsense! You just gave me another hole for your glory to shine through. A glory hole in my face. Didn't have to be this way, you dumb son of a bitch. Whose name is Chaz? Oh, boy. I knew you were weak, just like your friend here. Real strength is having power and choosing not to- Ow, my skin! Ooh. 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 Nice shot, Steve. 
Every shot's a nice shot with a McGregor Trank gun. McGregor, it's Scottish for bullseye. Um, just one more question. Why is there a crate of missiles tied to your car? Haley, Haley, Haley. <laughs> you just couldn't let it rest, could you? <laughs> Damn, Haley, how much do you weigh? <laughs> Sorry about tranquilizing you, Stan. I, I wasn't sure who was doing the most damage down there. You know the drill here. You know, I, I remember a time when this was a safe hallway. I left my door unlocked. Kids played after dark. I could walk home without being scared. And I don't want to be scared anymore. Just shut up and give me... Ah! A whoopsie. Ah! What a day. Tell me about it. I don't even know where the hell I am. Looter! Self-defense! A black and a white talking as if it's normal. Peter, what are you doing? You know me! Everybody shut up and let me think. Just let me think! Stan, have you... <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Classic American dad. Camp love can be tough, huh? How would you know? You got your camp, love. Actually, I didn't. What? I loved Amy Bennett, but the part I didn't tell you was, she didn't love me back. She broke my heart. So how'd you get over Amy? Well, son, as you grow older, you'll find that the hurt fades away. Why, Amy? Why don't you love me? <laughs> it's gonna be okay, Dad. Don't you dare patronize me! Amy! Amy! <laughs> I don't wanna live! This holiday season, go for strength. Go for inspiration. Go for Oscar Gold. Wow. So sad. Really sad. Yes, it's sad. I'm glad you guys got that. Ah! 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 What have you done? Relax, you freak. It's just a bee. I'm glad that whore bug is dead. She wasn't a whore. She was a beautiful specimen who captured the heart of one lonely and sensitive ginger-haired boy. Oh! Never cry over a whore, Steve. Never! <laughs> Mama. Oh. oh, my God. This can't be happening. What am I doing here? I, I miss my house. I miss my family. Ew. I just want to go home. I just want to close my eyes, and when I open them, I'll be home, okay? <laughs> Senorita, no, no, do not cry. Never before have I been so moved. Here, take this money. Go. Go start a new life for yourself. Far away from this place and my indiscriminate boner. Are you and your dad close? Daddy, will you read to me? Who the hell are you? Uh, yeah, sure. This, this, is, this is so much, this, this is so much fun. <laughs> oh God! Oh God! What's wrong? <laughs> Is there no cake? Oh God! Oh God! Ah! Oh God! Is there While no you're cake? you're serving me, how about a little dollop of horseradish on the side? This is my horseradish. All of it. Steve, here he comes. Take that, sir. Behold, a grown man weeping like... That? That was your plan? Are you crying? Yes, I'm crying. He hit me with a chair. <laughs> uh, what was that? Roger? <coughs> uh, oh, 
Oh, God, can't a guy sleep one off? R Roger! D -d -d Dad just, just cut me from the... the he, he, he cut me from the team! <laughs> now, picture that white boy is you. What? My daddy cut me from the team? But daddy, I, I tried my hardest. Why won't you love me? Why, daddy, why? Oh, God, this feels so good. That's right, Dad. Let it out. What a wonderful alternative to suicide. Told ya. Thank you, son. You, I'll have a gin and tonic. I want a small plastic bag and some industrial solvent. Oh, adorable. But you're just a little girl. You can't drink or huff. Oh, my God. I'm trapped on a plane, and I can't get a drink. No! No! Ah! Ah! <laughs> Leave me alone, baby. <laughs> you're my baby! You're my baby, and I love you so much! Oh, God! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Haley, stop! Your bitch crying is gonna be in the background of this entire video. But I, I love him so much! I don't wanna die here! I'm supposed to die in the medical tent at a music festival! <laughs> Jeff, no! <laughs> oh. Jeff, now we lost our rope! <laughs> Beat him up! Beat Get him a hold up. of yourself! Beat him up! <laughs> Nigga! Huh. Huh. <laughs> Don't look at me, whore! We both know what this is! It's love. Forever love! <laughs> How come I didn't see it coming? There, there. I should have known better. But then you said you were doing it because you care. I do care, kiddo. I care about me. Now, shh. <laughs> now, now, we've had enough of this. <laughs> That's a little trick I learned to quiet newborns when I worked in the maternity ward. <laughs> Qu quite a few people are still looking for this little lady, I'll tell you that much. She's playing ultimate frisbee without you. Because this is you throwing. Ugh. And this is you catching. Ugh. That's wonderful mime work. I guess you're just good at everything. <laughs> what? Now that's strange. <laughs> Best feminine sissy run since Kung Fu Hustle on God. Did you wait three days to cash it like I asked you? Because I have the money. I have, like, way more money than that, even. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have very much money. Time for Klaus to show how much of a man he really is. Uh, I'm not very much of a man. <laughs> the newsstand eels. Sensitive. <laughs> 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 Stan, what are you doing? I don't think you're right for me. And it makes me sad, and I don't want to waste these tears, so I'm watering this plant. Stan, what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> I, I, I'm robbing us. I don't, I don't know. It's, it's, I just, it's too hard. You guys were right. You can't live on minimum wage. I did things out there. I did things with my hands and my mouth that I'm not proud of, just to get by. It, it's what you do. It's what you gotta do. Dad, it's been less than two days. <laughs> Auf Wiedersehen, coolish wolden place. I actually used to sell penis for a place to stay. That's one thing you learn in the hood. If you make a female bust a nut hard enough, she'll just move you into her house and don't charge you any rent money and still cook and clean and everything. <laughs> I'm <laughs> sorry.
so sad. Leave me alone. Roger, I'm trying to meditate. Are you crying? No. Why? You, you, you think you heard something? Please don't make me do this. Oh, thank God. <laughs> what have I done? Yes, I can say goodbye to my separation anxiety because the Globetrotters didn't abandon me. My dad did, which is way worse, because that ain't never going away. <laughs> oh, God, not that guy again. <laughs> Epic fail! Klaus, do you even know what an epic fail is? Yeah, Klaus. I was just crying about my life. It's not that big a deal. <laughs> Go away! <laughs> epic fail! Don't shut me out, Jeff! <laughs> I'm so sorry you lost your hat. But we'll get through this. <laughs> Together! I love you, babe. <laughs> 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 You, you guys, Devin, Devin is re re retiring. Who the hell is Devin? Who the? Who, who, who? He's our mailman, the only man who's delivered mail to this house for my entire life. His shorts were always the harbinger of summer. Oh. I could kill you right now. Weren't you supposed to quit crying for New Year's? Oh, I'm sensitive. It's a desirable trait in some cultures. In France, maybe. Oh, my God, move to France. Go the hell to France. Look, it's not even my rule. It's your dad's. You think I wouldn't like to spark up a duber every now and again? Just take a nice, slow, extra careful drive. What's a duber? But, Mom... It's okay, Haley. I can handle it. I mean, weed's the thing I care about the most, but maybe that should be you. No, Aww. no. Thanks, never do Jeff. That. Never Man, do that. Man, you got me thinking about weed now. That stuff makes me want to drink so much soda. I smoke a bone, then I drain a two liter of sun kissed in like a second. Is it just me, or does that all sound like penis sucking references? Or am I just nasty? It can't just be me. They've got at least two or three fingers in on this joke, and that is not what it sounds like. It freaks people out. Thanks for letting me go back on my medication, Mrs. S. Better than the alternative. Did they have sex? God damn, bitch. Ooh. That's, that is a turn on. Uh... All right, now my penis is soft again. It went as fast as it came. Ha ha ha. Triple entendre. Ha ha ha. I got an idea. I saw this in a movie once. Hop with me. Mm. 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 Yeah, that's good. No. Why did you do that? Well, you weren't going to do anything from a movie. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Ooh. <coughs> I feel funny. <coughs> it must be the smoke inhalation. <coughs> it's killing my eyes. Ah, oh, you know what I meant to ask you? How did we get out of there? I, I think we did some sweet maneuvers from that movie Backdraft. I never saw Backdraft. Never saw Backdraft Me either. Me either. Never saw Backdraft either. It sounds like a, it sounds like an Australian porn. Yep, yeah, there it is. You gotta get two of each. Two of every bag of chips. Stan, do you, do you feel lighter? I'm definitely getting lighter. I think I'm becoming immune to gravity. Why is there a leopard on the Cheetos bag? Wait. It's a cheetah. Cheetah. Cheetos. There is so much beauty in the world. Why do my wrists hurt? Because you're lying on them. How can you hear what I'm thinking? <laughs> do you ah! live here? Because I could live here. This place is great. Hey, look, someone picked out all my favorite stuff. That'll be... And this! 
cat food. If I hold this, I won't float away. Your motor is What's your price for flight? Finding Mr. Right. Wait a minute. Who Who is this? Night Ranger, man. Night Ranger. Night Ranger? Oh, my God, we're high! Of course! When the barn burned, we became pawns in marijuana's mellow chess game! Freeze! Hands in the air! Hey, Steve, I'm just telling a few people. I'm making belt buckles now if you want to buy one. Check it out! There is no God. He's got red eyes from smoking weed. What the hell? I really can't believe you're an educator, Brian. My job's mostly administrative. Uh, hey, babe. What? Want a pot brownie? No. I'm babysitting. I'm being responsible. Good, because I already ate both. <laughs> Wait, did I? Yeah, bro. I wish Mom and Dad could have seen that. Me too, man. I think I'm really proving myself. Me too, man. This is gonna sound weird, but for the first time in my life, I feel like a grown woman. Me too, man. So, how much weed do you want to buy? Buy? Aren't you gonna give me some? Come on, we've been making out all night. No, what? I'm a drug dealer. I only make out with customers to make sure they're not cops. Cops can't legally make out with people they're not in love with. You also gotta have sex with your customers too. That way, that's the best way to make sure that they're not gonna rob you. I stayed under for five minutes, and I saved the bag of weed. Winner, winner, weed for dinner. Roger! What's up? You need weed? Get in the car. Ah, he needs a little something else. I'm gonna go blow this guy. You on fire today, applesauce! What? How the fuck did he do that? Whoa, babe, I held it in all night. That's awesome, babe. So close. You can't do that on television. Is my favorite television show of all time. Okay, gotta go, Mom. Next time we'll talk about what your favorite show is. The third winner is this lady. What's up? My name is Angie. I smoke weed before every meal. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, brunch, fourth meal, second lunch, third breakfast. Well, this lady's gross. Everything in this room is edible. Mm. This machine scans your brain and determines the perfect strain of weed for your personality. Who wants to try? Me, 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 me. I love weed, I love weed, I love weed, I love weed. Please. Man, I hate this lady. Why do I make this contest random? <sighs> While we're all here, I think I'm addicted to pot. Don't be ridiculous. Mom, while we're here, I really think I should check myself in for my pot problem. Just stop it, Haley. <laughs> Dude. Hi, sorry to disturb you. My name's Randy. I just moved in with my mom down the street. I'm oh. throwing empties at your head. I was recently released from prison, and the law requires me to tell everyone within a two-mile radius that I'm a registered sex offender. I threw peanuts at you. I used to work over at the water park where I molested a ton of kids, but now I'm out, so we'll see what happens. I was going out looking for it when it was right down the street, living with its mother and watching what? The Sandlot on DVD. Uh, Stan? It was right there, and I couldn't even see it. I Stan. scream and I nap! Guess that's why it's perfect. What? You don't even realize it's happening. Stan! What? Steve just rode away in that pedophile's ice cream truck. Oh, my God. He had ice cream at lunch. <laughs> I'm the salt. All colonels have to wrestle me to get salted. No! Oh, there's so many people to thank. But I wouldn't be here without my elementary school gym teacher, Mr. Raggins, who taught me everything I know about seduction. Across the street, one eight one nine Blueberry Street. Every night they have a fight. 
this is what they said that night. Boys go to Jupiter to get more stupider. Girls go to Mars to be superstars. Crumble, tumble, strawberry shake, freeze! <laughs> oh, that childhood. Such a sweet sexual time. Would everybody shut up? You guys got it good. I don't even have someone to sex it to. The only women around here are my mom and sister. The more things change, the more they stay the same. <laughs> <laughs> you said it, Stan. I think we both know there's always been something there between us. Well, now we have the whole house all to ourselves. She told me she was 18! Ah, oh, gross, Riesling. Hey. Hey, sweet bird. Look at me. I will make you cool. You really think you can, Roger? I know it. Hey, this feels good. Do you like it? Don't tell anyone. You'll get in trouble, too. Ah! Yeah! Oh, what a knock. What the hell? Sorry, can't ruin my rep. Don't worry, I'll make it up to you right now. Huh? Hurts less this time, doesn't it? What's good enough for you is good enough for me. It's good enough. It's good enough for me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, where's Sheila? I guess she left. Oh, good for her. You know, I'd walk into this office every day praying she wouldn't be here. She must have done it. She must have run off with that 10th grader she's in love with. I guess she doesn't want that. I get to be a golden girl? <laughs> Cream-covered boy? Cream-covered boy! Wait a minute. This has to be a trap. But then again, it's better to know. You're not mad? Nah, I wasn't even covered in chowder for that long. Roger and who I assume are the other janitors licked it clean off me. Steve says Snot's birthday's coming up. Where to party at? Probably Pervert Park. It's always empty, except for the pervs. But it's free. Although with the pervs comes an emotional price. This will not ah! happen, Snot. Indeed ah! it will, Steve. You won't know when it's coming, but it's coming. Ugh. Why aren't you getting up? I'm waiting for my wrestling rager to go down. It's perfectly natural. My coach told me about them when I was having brandy at his condo. No. Roger? No. What the hell are you doing in Thailand? Oh my god, it worked! Thailand, huh? I'd like three 12-year-old boys, no MSG. I'm gonna kick your ass! Ah, no, 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 no! <laughs> Did I just beat that guy up? Of course. Losing my eyesight must have sharpened my other senses. Actually... Shh, look how happy he is. Especially my sense of smell. <laughs> you, sir, are a pedophile. Hey, oh. little guy. I heard your dad walked out on you because he didn't love you enough to stay. But I know what'll make you feel better. At that moment, I was 100% sure I was going to be molested. So you weren't molested? No, that wasn't until four or five years later. It was my first week at Christian camp. But I'm not ready to talk about Father Roy. Boy, he had a set of paws on him. What a summer. Does this bring back any memories? Oh, you want me to confront Father Roy about what happened at camp? Thing is, I'm not sure it was entirely his fault. I may have deserved it. In fact, I may have instigated it. Actually, Francine, I seduced him. I don't know why I wanted him, but I wanted him. Mother! No actual Stan, no! Well, I wanted them to listen to me. Didn't work out so well, though, did it? No, sir. There might be a lesson to learn from this if I were the kind of guy who could learn lessons. But lessons are not for me. Lessons are for schoolboys. Schoolboys are for me! Red light! Let go of me! This is stupid! You're stupid! I'm sorry that was unprofessional. I've been a bit consumed with one of my other patients. He's a complicated teenage drug addict who's being molested by me. Principal Lewis! You have to see this! The school's been vandalized! So? I don't care about this place. It's about you! <gasps> oh, the cops. Morning, Stan. Here to inaugurate the new hydrant? Well, better christen it with my fire hose. Principal oh. Lewis! Are you excited or terrified? I have to decide whether I'm joking or not. When Barry signals the deck is hot, you boys sit down and bet strong. Snot, you're Jewish. You'll be in charge of the money. Steve, you'll be in charge of watching Snot, because I don't trust Jews. Come on, let's go play some blackjack! Now? 
But we have geometry class. I'll write you a note. Dear math bitch, these kids ain't showing up. Love, your main man. P.S. One plus one equals the two of us. Plus one more would be nice, though. Maybe Jill from the cafeteria. Or your sister Lisa. You know, when she's legal. All right, boys, time to have a little fun with the winnings. Gentlemen, we're gonna see boob. Afraid not. I'd like to bring you boys in there. I really would. But the only 14-year-olds allowed in there are performing on stage. Uh, <laughs> ladies! Alfred Hitchcock! Good tale here tonight, Brian. Who has the CBP on this cake? <laughs> Yeah, Superintendent! Blast my Buddha belly! <laughs> Sweet, you kill my master. Now you die. Cake! Cake! Pie! Brownie! Cookie! 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 Hasn't peed on any cakes and hasn't challenged a dog to a fist fight in days. <sighs> I'd have to fight that dog, too. That's for real. Look, if you don't... Stand up to the dogs, then they chase you, and then eat you, and then pee on you like that fire hydrant that Principal Lewis peed on earlier. No one deserves that. <sighs> so go on. Do what you were born to do. Go punch that dog in the face. Hmm? You're a good friend. Hoot, it's time for me to do what I do best, and that's whatever I want all the time! Mm. Wow, he just takes what he wants, doesn't he? When we come back, local strongman Brian Lewis! <laughs> My strength comes from above! <sighs> Society's given up on these kids, the school's given up on these kids, their own children have given up on these kids. They're looking, they're looking at us. You think they can read lips? They can't read books! They're a bunch of dumbasses with no future. <gasps> There's no glass. Fresh meat! Ha <laughs> ha! Ah! Lewis gets away again! Well, he did go to Harvard. No, he didn't! Then how'd I get this sweatshirt? How'd he get the sweatshirt, Steve? What? Are you really asking? A sweatshirt doesn't mean anything! You calling me a fraud? Saying I didn't graduate from F-U-B-U? And you got the boot off Principal Lewis's car. So you've done a lot of good. Smith, meet me in the computer lab. Oh, damn it, Asian. This is not my fault, Stan. I was texting. Yep. Looks like the pottery class is coming in. Uh, perhaps we should relocate, as I am not legally permitted to be within 100 feet of the instructor, or more specifically, her sugary sweet ass. Oh, baby. oh look! It's Principal Lewis! <laughs> Hi, Principal Lewis! <laughs> what the hell? I'm getting to those kids first! I need that money! I'm not going back to that school! What? <laughs> Yo! Ah! Woohoo! People are excited! <laughs> Bitch, what are you crying about? I was counting on that money! I can't go back to work now! I took a deuce on my desk! Yeah! <laughs> Yo! Why is he Clara, wearing a thong? Could you make me a nice hot chocolate? Clara, did you roll your god? Dang eyes at him. Woman, I will make you teach summer school. I will steal your summer. First, we move you to a credit union. Better interest rates. Ugh. That's how you lose a summer, bitch. How much? Ten bucks to see it, twenty bucks to ride. No, I meant for the oranges. Not for sale, bitch. All right, I'll see it. What are you doing? Showing you my butt. What? You thought those were ding-dong prices? <laughs> nah, nah, nah. 
Steve. I'm gonna use that. <laughs> but you thought those were penis prices, bitch? Fuck no. 200 to see it, 800 to ride it. I want you to be our new announcer. Me? Uh, thank you, sir. Here's your trophy. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Can you imagine if you got this big ass trophy just for announcing? <laughs> no. No. A trophy like this is for when you star in over 40 adult films in under two months. That's how you get a trophy like this, son. This is Phyllis. She just moved here from Hoboken. I'd like you all to give her a warm welcome. Now, I'm not referring to the sexual position, the warm welcome, of which I am the inventor. The basic nature of the move is... Oh, never mind. You all ain't long enough. Ugh, damn kids! <sighs> Sometimes I think I should have just stayed in Peru, moving coke. Machado was a cold bastard, but he was good to his men. And once you drew blood for him, you were set. Hooch, blow, girls, <laughs> not women, girls, little bitty things. Brian! <laughs> oh. Doesn't mean you know everything about. Hey, Principal Lewis! End of days, bitches! <laughs> well, who puts the bath into bath my best alto? Who gives the road that makes very, very baritone? Yes, it's me. Now, Smith, take these PEDs. You have to for the good of the whole team. Yeah. Is Which is it? why it's going to me, Brian the Home Invader Lewis, a.k.a. the Basement Creep, a.k.a. Midnight Lace! Principal Lewis, what are you doing in our basement? I honestly have no clue. Last thing I remember, I was climbing in that window. <laughs> is he covered in poop? There it is! False alarm, just my principal. Doing a great job, Francine. Oh, hi, Steve. How are you? Yeah, what? It's Steve's hallway. That guy hit the super smart Indian girl who skipped several grades. How could he hit a girl? That's nice. Oh, uh, poor Reshma. That girl's nice to everyone. Hey, what's going on out here? This guy hit Reshma. Yes! Oh! <laughs> The homeless guy from the bus station is hung. But I knew that. Oh, no. He's dead. Oh, my God. He said he could hold his breath. I'm sorry. You are fun, Haley. I'm going to kick him. Chris Angel, you freak my mind, you filthy punk. Come see my room. No. What? I'm oh. pleased to announce the winner of this year's County Fair Pie Contest. The blue ribbon goes to... Emilou Sugarbean! Who? Oh, Ew. my stars! I've been secretly competing with both of you for years. What put me over the top this time? I put fruit and sugar in my pie instead of soggy napkins and gerbil meat. I also made a sizable contribution to Mayor Woodside's mouth. Ew! No, no, I'll never tell anyone. Your reputation is safe with me. Hey, fellas, I nailed her. It was so easy. <coughs> ah! How are you even going to get backstage? With a little help from me. The name's Abby. Abbey Road. 
And when it snows, I need to be plowed. Okay, no. Stan, get ready to be surprised no. by the amount of drugs and whores you see, and then shocked by the amount of drugs and whores I can do. Yep, there it is. Hi, I'm Tyler. I'm Amber. Give me waves of grain alcohol, and we'll see how purple your majesty gets. What? It's from a song. Hello, Chex. I see you didn't bring your barber this time. I guess you'll never ask me to be your plus one! <laughs> You're fat, Helen. <laughs> you always get what you want, don't you, Helen? Bravo. Truly despicable his crimes were. In addition to the counterfeiting, he subjected off, illegal right? no. workers to inhumane work conditions. This man is a threat to society. He is a menace, I mean, and he must pay for his crimes. If he committed these crimes, then he has to pay the price. I don't know. I think about all the people he ripped off, but then I think about how funny and handsome he is, and I just want to sit on his Any girl but her. You can't keep two girls on lockdown. You already got Francine. If you want to let her go, then I'll back off Scarlet. Of course, then I'll plow Francine. I'd let him, too. Dan Ansem Handsome gives me quite the wide on. Ah. Look, her folks want her buried in the family plot, but she told me her final resting place should be in water. Shelby Lake was where we went on our first date. Uh, we had a picnic. As the sun set, we made love. It was awful. I just laid there. Sorry, Haley. I've made other dessert plans. Haley, you didn't think I was going to let Big Wang slip through my fingers, did you? Come on, I still got two big installs tonight, but only one more job to do if you get my drift. No. <laughs> the bar gets busy during the holidays. Maybe you could use an extra hand. You're too late, sister. I already hired college kids from the water polo team. I've got almost too many hands for jobs. No. What's with this Speedo, Jeremy? It's too baggy. Is it a tandem Speedo for two men? Ah, even this is too loose. Mark, hop in here. Bing Cooper, sexually active high school senior. I've pulled more tail than a slow kid at a petting zoo. Jojo oh, no, Quinoa. And just like the superfood, I'm for sale at Trader Joe's. Behind Trader Joe's. For free. <laughs> She's even got ah! time for the homeless. Ah! I have sex with the homeless. You slut! <sighs> I have to say it was super relaxing being an innocent young girl for a change. Innocent? You did it with snot on the beach! Yeah, I did. Got sand all up in my Jenny dress. Not to mention my gopher hole. Oh, I mentioned it. I can't believe this. I'm married to an alien. I, I've i been having sex with an alien. I don't see what the big deal is, Haley. Lots of people sleep with aliens. Lois Lane, Marvin the Martian's wife, every cable guy who's ever come to this house. Roger's hosting Conspiracy Con in the attic. That's what's going on up there? I assume those creeps were here for a Roger sex thing. Don't beat yourself up, Stan. We're also having sex. The electro-radiation booth's running low on foil. Those guys use it for everything. The condoms hurt like hell, but I'm not ready to be a mother. I know what happened to your son. He's in danger. Are you seriously trying to talk to me right now? Do you not understand how Grinder works? We did what we came to do, but now I'm with my family. This is my real life. You're what? way out of bounds. Um, what? I think, I think you're confusing me with someone else. See that? I crushed. God, what a high. You're cute. How about after we go wheels up, I come in there and go heels up, and you can unload your passengers at gate A. Well, I'm back, and it could not have gone better. Prescott and I had full and complete sex beneath the meat slicer. Steve? Steve? Huh. Nobody's here to hear my lie. You know how E.T. could make a cute little nightlight with his finger? Well, I slept with his puppeteer. Listen, I got VIPs here. Stop telling everyone you're an escort. Gotcha. Low key. I'm all over it. I'll circulate, but give me the signal. Two taps on the nose, and I'll come running to suck you off. Did you just do it? I blinked. <laughs> Steve? Right here? This is crazy. There's a killer on the loose. Ah! Here's 50 bucks. And you just bought yourself a ticket to stop. But I was only paying for the blow. That was free. Oh, I've had such a wonderful night. But I hope you understand. I, I can't let you come inside. I respect that. 
So you can either do it on my back or my feet. Dealer's choice. Only the blood of a pure maiden will appease the crow god and ensure a bountiful corn crop. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Pure maiden? Me? I had sex with a guy on the truck ride over here. And who was he? He had a crow mask on. It, oh, it was him. Brown corduroys. Her talented mouth tells lies! Welcome to my Miata. This is James. James, snot. I'm driving for Uber two-seater. And before you say that's not a thing, it's not. Way to go, James. You blew it. Kid saw right through you. Just get out. See you tomorrow, James. I know it's not a great first impression, but what do you think of James? What's happening? I thought we were going to train. Soon, soon. Need a little sex first. Hold my clothes like your daddy used to. I won't make it ten feet in this garage before I'm deep-dogging a derby daisy. <laughs> Roger! Oh my god, okay, wow. Can we please be grown-ups about this? Because I can't. <laughs> and you remember that hunky single guy who owns the Italian soda shop, Mario E.G.? No. We've only been here for 12 hours. We fell in love! And we screwed! Bella, I love you! <gasps> I must go now. Mm. But then I realized I'm a strong, independent woman. I don't need to be defined by a single man. Ciao, bella! Mi amore! Principess! Mangia, mangia! Mi amore! Tutto bella! Principessa! Caro mia! Ciao, bella! Mangia, mangia, che ne va bene! Note to self, never date strong, independent women. They're usually living hot girl summer, and we all know what they do on a, a handstand. Did you sleep with all these? You were right to bring me here. Let's cream out of here. Hi. Stan, this is Amos. Hey. Amos, it's not what it looks like. The team was on steroids? Not the team, just me. Yeah, I couldn't get on the ice without my old Uncle Roy. Duh. I don't believe this. Believe it? That's why my penis is so small. But you know what? Worth it. This is the only thing I need to dangle to get the ladies. No. 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 <laughs> Oh, yeah, you should know I'm a drunk. Just like my father. And I have no genitals. That's okay. I have both. What? How's she got uh, both? That affects the vine? It all affects the vine. And shares, if I could turn back time, was at the top of the charts when our wine was made. Can the vine see your outfit? This is for you. <gasps> Whoa, 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 Roger, stop, Roger! Uh, is my dick showing, like shares did? Ah, oh, there's ah, a tornado! Ah, ah. Roger, I told you to go to the gas station today. I did, but there were some college kids there, and I wanted to impress them, and I couldn't think of anything cool, so I deep-throated the nozzle and guzzled $80 of gas. You idiot! Relax, just punch it when I say. Go, go! Look at me. I got my son's ass against my window, my alien's dick in my gas tank, and nothing but the open road in front of me. So I went to a real doctor and he gave me pills. And I took all of them. Because I love you idiots, and that causes me a lot of sweat. It's okay, he's breathing. Let's draw a dick on his face. Of course I know what one looks like, but Haley, why don't you draw it? You're gonna serve these Hollywood elites some appetizers and knock their socks off. Time to become just as famous as Steve. I'm a star. I'm a star. I'm a big, bright, shining star. So, what do you do? I'm, uh... I'm a director. Oh, you're gonna want some napkins. They're my headshot! Oh! Oh! So, Cookie, do you like ponies? Uh, no. I'm almost 16. Oh. So what do you like? Cocaine and stuff. Yay! <gasps> what the fuck? Oh, Patrick. No! Maybe I'm too sober to remember. 
Maybe if I was messed up now? Forget it. Fine, just thought you wanted to find her. <gasps> 14 blocks straight ahead, then you're gonna take a ride on Euclid. Well, Roger, you're really focused. Yeah, I thought it would help. Steve and the ass tones are on our way! Oh, yeah! <coughs> Jerry, what are you doing? Nothing, man! We told you no drugs! And I told you if I was responsible, I wouldn't be in a band with a bunch of 14-year-olds! <coughs> Your favorite song, ah. sung by America's sweetheart, Whitney Houston. Come on, Daddy. I, I need my fix. Remember the deal, Whitney. First you sing, then you get your precious cocaine. How dare you? Do you think I would? No matter what they take <laughs> from me, <laughs> take away <laughs> my dignity. <laughs> Happy <laughs> anniversary, sweetheart. <laughs> Whitney, go get it. <laughs> what do you think? You're the smartest person I know. <laughs> If only I was like 40 years younger, I'd have been Whitney's father. I wouldn't have made her wear a dog choker collar or, or drink milk out of a bowl. None of that stuff. I mean, I've always respected you, even when you were drinking and doing all that coke. Oh, Stan, thank you. Hmm? Oh, oh, God. Oh, oh, not you, Francine. God, no. No, I was talking to the photo of George W. Bush. Look at you. A perfect specimen of a man, swaggering across your ranch. God, Tim Purcell always got the best coke. Congratulations, you just made your first million. I'm a winner, Ma! Look at me now! Now don't look for a second. Woo! You can look again, Ma! I created disco, you know. Yeah, yeah, and you lost it all, and Clive Davis hogged your eight ball. We've heard it a million times. Get over it already. Yeah, you're right. Who got me what? I wonder whose car that was. And a machine that turns water into cocaine. I'll just hang on to this. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go party my nose clean off my face. Sort out the rest yourselves. Charlie, 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 listen to me. Charlie, Charlie! What's your name again? Hello, Sharper Image. Yeah, give me three Sopranos pinball machines, the radio golf ball, a floating ant farm, a flashlight hammer to smash the ants with if they piss me off. I'm, uh, I'm gonna call right back. What the hell is that? Oh, I wanted to practice potions at home, so I borrowed some supplies. Oh my god, what did you do? Professor Icepick won't mind. It's like I'm doing extra credit. Do they know where you live? Do they know where you live? <laughs> <laughs> Cocaine, it gives you wings. <laughs> no, sorry about that one, kids. <laughs> we gonna edit that out. Get his ass. <laughs> I'm amazingly focused right now! Lavate las manos! Lavate las manos! Lavate las manos! You want some too? I got plenty for everybody! All out, there it is. Oh, dang, free fortune! It can't be. They wouldn't. It's cocaine! Yeah, 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 yeah! You boys are gonna eat her up. What? TV people don't do this anymore? No. Cut! Lightning in a bottle! Yes! Ah, oh, there is no downside to this drug!
So you guys want to go get some steaks at the Brown Derby? Roger is truly one of the most interesting people I know. He's also a pathetic drug addict. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Now, I'm gonna read a list of different drugs, and Roger, if you hear one you're not on right now, raise your hand. Cocaine, heroin, ecstasy, crack, Oxycontin, meth, steroids, cooked down Afrin, euphoria, the fake drug from 90210. <laughs> Got held up looking all over town for that pink novelty-sized rabbit my boy's been hassling me for. No. You forgot to get Steve a present and grab the first thing you saw out of the CIA evidence room. Stan, we just finally got Steve off the heroin from the last birthday present you gave him. I got so high. I, I don't know about you, but this case has put me in the mood for some cocaine. <laughs> I, I get that joke, because cocaine comes in keys, right? The leg man doesn't joke about cocaine. Cocaine is not a joking matter. Look at me! King of the Jews! Ah! I'm okay! I landed right in the oil! It's a Hanukkah miracle! You still there? Ho oh, ho, this game. Fine, I'll get you a plane to Columbia. Cocaine is dirt cheap there. That... that sounds good. Uh, again, just want to mention I'm selling belt buckles I made. I also got a line of retro ones. Yep, that was the time. That was the music of the time. The drug of the time? Kyo Kye! False alarm, just my principal. Get out of here, Tracy. I don't need this now. I finally got my life on track. I say cocaine now. Son, I am bringing you to Mexico to show you that you don't need toys anymore. And by the way, father of the year here, this is how I wish I lost my virginity. Not to some coked up airhead. Didn't you lose your virginity to mom? Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, oh. Francine, the emergency fund. Wait, 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 what's the emergency fund? So I take $50 from your wallet every week. For? Drugs. What? Drugs. Drugs, okay? Stick them up! This is a bank robbery! Ah! Del Monaco? Francine! And who's this piece of ass? This is Jeff, my son-in-law. Jeff Del Monaco, my dealer of drugs. Mm Mwah. Enchanté. I'm calling my coke dealer. Wow, he can afford the painting? Oh yeah, maybe he could buy the painting. At least when you wanted to get rid of it, it was about privacy. But now, trying to sell it to our coke dealer? I see you don't have any principles at all. Oh, wow. Well, I'm gonna go see if I can sell Francine some drugs. Um, Razor, a word? You've been acting a little erratic lately. I know, it's terrible. I think I know what it might be. <laughs> I feel like super disconnected from the family. I mean, Haley said that thing about me being nearby and it got me spinning out and I feel like, hold on. I feel like I'm trying to make the gang a new family, but the razor thing, I mean, it's just not a home run yet. What? Ridiculous. You're the razor. That means something around here. Maybe just a little less coke, a little less threatening people's toes. Who says I'm doing too much coke? Damn! Uh, yep. Dude, you killed him! One down, four to go. You're really gonna kill five people over $20? Are you really asking that to the guy who just last week killed six people over $19? Oh, yeah. Why is his fishbowl full of poop? Oh my god! What? What? Oh my god, is wizard that the wipers. inside or the outside? Hit the wizard oh, wipers, there the it is. Oh my god! 
Oh! Oh! Motherfucker, what? You better go up under the stall. Go up under the stall into the next one. And put your feet up so that he can't know you're in there. Oh, thank God. Don't talk. You fool! What? Oh my god! No! What type of shit?! Roger, you got your revenge. Can we go home now? Ah! Ah! Sorry, I got the bloodlust! Afraid to step into the light. What? Some people need. I'm calling everyone to tell them Sweeps is coming to town. I'm going to get off the plane and go right to Dana Plato's grave. I owe it to her. I killed her. Say, you know, I got the day free. What do you say we head to the mall and grab ourselves a slice of za? Ugh, I try to stay away from malls and pizza. So, um, what happened back there? We went to the mall and had pizza because that's what Dylan likes. Why is there blood on the dream phone? He likes malls and pizza. And me. Roger, what's in this jar? Dylan was being bad. And now we have the jar. I'm so excited. And I just can't hide it. <laughs> now, now, we've had enough of this. Oh! That's a little trick I learned to quiet newborns when I worked in the maternity ward. <laughs> Qu quite a few people are still looking for this little lady, I'll tell you that much. Ah! Oh! You I trusted you! I loved you! I shredded Tahoe with you! Surprise! Everything was fake! Even this knife I stabbed the colonel with! Ah! This knife is real. That was not part of the plan. But the rest... Oh, we got you good. <coughs> you should have seen your face. What goes up must come. Damn! I got a strong ass elbow. Fatality. That was unexpected. So, have you heard anything? Is Chaz gonna be okay? No. Okay. I'm here to apologize for... What the hell?! For killing your wife. Killing my wife? When?! You seriously don't remember? <laughs> hey, man. It was her birthday. And you know how I am when I drink champagne. Yeah! Well, what are you gonna do when the actual Russian kid shows up? Oh, I took care of that. Russian airline. Is that Justin Bieber? Is that Justin Bieber? Bieber? Right here, honey. Bang Quang Maximum Security Prison. No man's ever gotten out alive. Oh, hell no! The inmate has escaped from the Bang Quang prison in Thailand. The prisoner killed two dozen guards, then built a boat out of their corpses to get away. Jack! Oh, thank God, it's just a dead girl. Ah! Roger, you came back for me. Uh, okay. Do you want to come to dinner at my parents' house on Tuesday? What did you find? I is it Haley? No, it's nothing, just a cushion. We're gonna have lots of babies. No, 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 no. What happened to you? Who did this? Who did this to my baby? Uh, the teachers! <laughs> they made a circle and they hit me! I don't think I can go back to school. Oh, Steve, you will never, ever have to worry about those teachers again. See you later, guys. Have a good one. See you tomorrow. Oh! 
but the greatest adventure of my life has been being a dad to these two amazing black sons Is that who I adopted after their mother, the love of my life, died in a car accident. Is that CeeLo Green? backed over our mom, but he's been a real good driver since then. You gotta hide me. I just married a black chick with two kids and then I killed her. No! The jet is parked out front. You ready to go to Fiji? No witnesses! Oh my God! <clears throat> I guess today I get to try out being an angel. Never marry a black female who already has a bunch of kids. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> that ship has sailed. Smash! But don't marry. Like, it, get, get, run for your life, you know? <gasps> oh! <sighs> well, looks like we both lost a life partner today. You know what'll make us feel better? A trip to Fiji. A mourncation. Honeymoon? Oh my god! <laughs> Good start. What? <laughs> no! Can't help me! No! What are you doing here? Uh, working. Fine, I guess I can squeeze you in. No. That's some glory hole humor for you. No. My jokes are what people show up for. The BJs are shit. <laughs> ah! What? Uh, 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 I'm a hardwood marmalade. Do it on the hardwood. <laughs> oh, this is my lowest maintenance character. The only hard part is chopping up my dumps into cat-sized pieces. Come on, Stan. Just slap the hammer four times like you're patting Skippy. <laughs> Bro, I need like three of them. No homo, but Roger's head game is out of this universe. He's doing the Lord's work, sucking that hard, you know? That doesn't sound good. Yep. God damn. Yep. Hey, yep. buddy, we're out of red sauce. Check again. No, no, no! It's room temp. So put it in the fridge. Look. Stan will be home from the store any second, and I put grenadine on the list. Grenadine turns cold cola into a Roy Rogers. You know what grenadine turns warm cola into? You tell me when I throw it in your face. Yeah! Are you Lucius Mayweather? Who wants to know? Roger, what, what the hell? Roger? No, Lucius. You must be the white boy looking for a wheel man. I'm in. For God's sakes, I'm assembling my own crew. That cracker's got a crack in his head, if you ask me. You hustling me, boy? Ah! Ah! You hustling me, boy? What the fuck? What the fuck is the point of the flask? Why not just drink it? Is that cocaine? Nigga, no! <laughs> I wonder whose car that was. Okay, Stan, just let me do the talking. And remember, no matter what happens, we stick together. Hi, it's just me. I'm by myself. All right, I got everything we need. Chocolate milk, cheese puffs, and some Turkish amphetamines I scored in the bathroom. Whoa, whoa, Legs. Are you sure that's a good idea? I've never been more sure of anything in my life. See? Everything in moderation. Now I'm going to have five cheese puffs. No more. <laughs> Legs, oh no! Please, just no! To pull over. Why are you calling me legs? Is there something wrong with my legs? Is that why? Is that why there's a wheelchair in the car? What did you do to my legs, you Nazi walrus bastard? Steve, who is he talking to? Oh my Shut God! Up, Garfield, why, 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 why do you why do you hate Mondays? You don't even work. It <laughs> ah! was quite a ride, Wheels, but I think I got us there. Hey, I see yep. Haley. 
Definitely got him, man. Mary Jeff. Ugh, this is awful. Whoever made this chicken should have his hands cut off, then have his feet cut off, then shot, then killed. Oh, uh, G Generalissimo, maybe you should ease up on the staff a little. No, no, you're paying good money for us to stay here. It should be perfect. I mean, look at these dirty floors. Whoever mops them should be beaten with a hose, then tied up with said hose and thrown off their roof. Sir, it's Stan. I'm moving the treaty signing to tomorrow. Let's make that tonight. Ah! You threw that bitch off the roof. Ah! 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 Don't you see how hurtful this is to me, Steve? Ah! Ah! <laughs> this nigga said, can't you see how much this hurts me to do this to you, Steve? Motherfucker. Motherfucker. Yep. Birdman and oh rub. God, this is an intervention. I sold you fake tickets and still all you want to do is help me. Yeah, we're going to help you. Help you pee blood. Oh, no. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, oh no. <laughs> Let's kill his parents next. Let's kill them all. Oh, oh. Oh, my God. Somebody help us! Somebody call 911! You're gonna be okay? Oh, this is all my fault! I'm so sorry! I gotta get you to a vet! Ah! Why would you do that? I was trying to help you! I'm Steve. I'm gonna call you Simon. Chica, 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 Simon? Okay? I'm a friend. Yes? You know that now? Friend? Chica, chica. Ah! God damn it! Damn it! Screw you, jerk cat! Son of a whore! Here I am holding you, which is all I ever wanted. Oh, Simon, you're in a better place now. You look so peaceful, almost as if you were sleeping. Oh, It's over. It's over. What is the lesson here? We pulled it off! Oh. Sorry, I forgot you were back there. Why? Oh, wow. Oh, jeez, my eye. What do I... Oh. What, what was that thing? Seatbelt check. <laughs> What? One row flex and five containers of protein powder. Thanks to all this, I'm about to become a jock. <laughs> now it's time to say good night, Steve. Daniel? Oh, good night, Steve. Daniel, no. Well, I'm sorry, where are my manners? Shoot this nigga! Good Mother night, Putin. For the love of- Hit him! Hit him in the head with a shotgun! Ah! You, uh, you made that an uncomfortable experience for me, Daniel. Didn't have to be. Should have been fun. What? 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 Thank God. The bleeding stopped. I think I'm out of blood. You're gonna be okay, son. Stay with me. There. There's my angel smile. Oh, oh my God! Ah! Why? Oh, good. Keep doing that. Keep doing what? He thinks you're food. That'll distract him long enough for us to get the boards off. Ow! Oh, oh. What if he bites off my arm? That's the risk. That's the risk we're all taking. Feel so alive! Thank you for helping an old man. Now this! Ah! Oh! What are you doing? <clears throat> yeah. oh, no! oh!
Ah! God! Oh, Dick has been stabbed. This is truly bowling's darkest, most exciting day. Dick! <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand. You my nose, and <laughs> where's your tooth? It went right into the wood. Steve, look out! <laughs> oh God, I could be blamed for this. It's Christina Aguilera's larynx. Oh, get it away from me! Oh, what's going on? Back to sleep. This is my life. I'm Steve. Yeah, yeah, you make a good point. Okay, we'll switch faces just as soon as I fix this lamp. What's wrong with it? It's broken. Ah, I shouldn't have hit him in the face. That's my face. Dingleberry! Yes? I may be paralyzed right now, but you'll always be a dummy! Say that one more time. I... Ah! Oh, no way. Gross. I think it just grazed me. <sighs> We're gonna smoke it out. This might take some time, so we need to be patient. Be right back. <laughs> Stupid <sighs> coconut. $300 for my friend's calves. It's not for drugs. Usually it's for drugs. Well, if friendship is a drug... Here's $4. You said 20. There's gonna be a pizza party. Na, 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 ba, ba. Steve, oh my god! I'm in love! That's great, man. What? That's golden shit? No! Where did you get golden poop? Where'd you get gold poop? You let me right to it, little brother. Well, time for plan B. Why did I agree to plan B? It's working! I need to apologize. I'm the one who should be apologizing. My thirst for revenge nearly killed us both. Okay, now first, we gotta clack him out of that bush. Now, hold up a second. I wanna make sure we got a good one. Ah! Ah! Oh my god! I got nipped! Quick, grab his tail! Ah! 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 the deal and I'm bro i swear to god i hate the fact that when i see stuff like that if it's well edited and well done i can literally feel like i'm the one getting hurt or stabbed when that type of stuff is on screen bro that stuff hurts dude come on guys you can't really <laughs> What could have possibly led to this? This baby's powerful enough to heal a hundred legs in mere minutes. <laughs> Let the crystal do its job. It's working. This is the only thing that matters. Which is why it's going to me, Brian the Home Invader Lewis, a.k.a. the Basement Creep, a.k.a. Midnight Lace. Principal Lewis, what are you doing in our basement? I honestly have no clue. Last thing I remember, I was climbing in that window. <laughs> what? Ugh. Uh, no! no! Poop! Oh my Poop! God, you're our principal! You're dead, sucker! <gasps> Cover the camera! You separated this family, and I'm gonna do the same thing to your body and your dick! 
I need another shiv. Please, remember the oath you took as a prison guard and protect my dick. Ah, Marsh, buddy. How's that throwing arm? Beat Are you up. freaking Beat him kidding up. me? Beat him up. Oh! Oh, my God. Oh, man, that was a, a well-illustrated punch to the face. I could feel that in my eyeball. It's almost ready. Just need to do the final test. Perfect. Oh. Sorry, sir. We're closed for the night. Oh, I was just about to call you. I'm already down here. I came up with a plan myself. Uh. <laughs> oh, God. Pass it in your face, you fine ass bitch! What's it, my love? Tanu tara kono katana, chio ajia wazu ni aidare ne. Damn. Damn! Damn! We saved kisses! Oh, thank you, Dr. Lizzie! Can I see him? I'll do you one better. Call him. Kisses! Kisses! It's Daddy! Come to Daddy! Come to- <laughs> What?! <laughs> ah! Well, what do you think? Where- Where are his eyes? He was blinded by the accident, so I removed his eyeballs and put them where his testicles used to be. Dogs deserve dignity too, sir. I'm gonna keep my record! <laughs> Oh, I can walk again. I can walk. <laughs> you know, we always carry it this way, and bad things happen. Why don't we carry it this way? That's so smart. I think we're going to get a promotion. <laughs> ah! Ah! It's a fit. When you snooze, you lose. Why does he have a nice- ah! An epic fail! Delmer, I just want to say you have been such a help these last few days. Dan, enough! We're going to deal with this, now! Yikes. Time to go. Wow, that was fast. Hey, Carbuncle! They're gonna be vegetables forever! <laughs> I can't I can't believe I was gonna take your skin off. This is the skin for me. Ah! Hey babe, let's go try that weird skin that's like this. Remind me to never take this hat off. I got everything held together up there with a chip clip. <laughs> Great, you hate it. Well, that's all right. I'm over you anyway. Steve was right. It was just a crush. Hey, Jeff, good news. You're getting your skin back. Gross. Who's that? Oh, don't worry about him. That's just a nobody who lives in the basement. <gasps> a nobody? <laughs> who farted? Ugh. Nobody! <laughs> Mommy, the monster! 
Timmy, it's not nice to point. But he doesn't have a nose. <clears throat> he can't help it if he's deformed. Deformed? I'm just as God made me, madam. <laughs> yep. You destroyed my study. You barged into my sauna. You know how stressful that is? I had just unclenched my anus. Roger painted me in my sleep. My canvas is life. I'm an artist. Leave him alone, honey. He's an artist. Roger stuck a syringe in my chest. I was playing Pulp Fiction. The bitch was ODing on me, and I gave her a shot in the heart. Leave him alone, Stan. He thought you were an ODing bitch. He took my hair. He took my land. Leave him alone, honey. You took his land. I threw a good spring break. Maybe even a great spring break, but not the best spring break ever. I failed you and myself. I'm sorry. <laughs> Where's AJ? Mr. and Mrs. Bullock took him home. But, but I was going to teach him stuff. I thought you'd be happy. It's not fair. I want my little bro bro. <laughs> Why? Why would you do this? What, what did I ever do to any of you to make you say those incredibly hurtful things? Are you serious? Does it look like I'm not serious? Roger, this is what you asked for. You stay away from me, Francine. All of you stay away from me. This has been the worst night of my entire life. <laughs> you sell sperm too? Sell? Hey, you look like me. This is crazy. I gotta get a pick. Twinsies! God, look at me. Look at what I've become. Lying has turned me into a horrible, grotesque monster. <gasps> well, you're not having any trouble with brutal honesty right now. I'm just not built to be a liar. No, you're built to be a jerk. <laughs> Double my order. Francine, postpone the stakes. You talking to me? You have to talk louder if you want me to hear you. I said postpone the stakes. I don't have the wine. Can't we just drink a different wine? You're getting a punch. What? When I get over there, I am going to punch you. Please don't. Two punches. What? Why? I'm going to keep adding punches. <laughs> this is what Jenny was using to fake sex with you. What? She didn't do it with you for real. You're still a virgin. Oh. <gasps> Jenny, how could you? I'm sorry. You made a fool out of me. I never want to see you again. <laughs> <laughs> I need this now more than ever for its intended purpose. Sons of Tucson, new on Fox. When was this on? I watched Fox. I never saw this. <laughs> you know the rules. You have a rule for everything. Because you need them. You can't control yourself. I'll have you know, I had a salad for lunch. Does that sound like someone who can't control themselves? Hey, Roger, it's me, Bobby from Grubhub. I got two full trays of meatballs and a meatball sub. Extra meatballs. The note says put a rush on it. I can't control myself. Jesus Christ, Bobby. <laughs> oh, 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 this part's great. <laughs> Always check your anus, because in prison, you're next. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to comment, like, and don't subscribe. It's your boy Blast from Sage D Twizzles.